Hello. Hello, hello. I can hear you. Oh. oh can hear hello. You. hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, you got it. We got, we got awesome, it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Mm. All right. What's up? Hello, Jackson. Long time no hello, see. Hello, Momo. Long time no see. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow, your room is so nice. I like the fan in the back. Thank you. This was a steal. It was like two dollars or something. We were walking in this random store. I'm like, why not? How's it been? How's life? <laughs> it feels so normal now. It's like, oh, movie star. Jumping out of planes. It's cool. How's school going? Pretty good. Um, last night our school hosted a production of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, so I went there. So um, are you ready? Bring it on. I'd have to say you are the most like ready I've ever had because I texted you when you were available to do this and you sent me like a precise date, a precise time. I texted you, hey, I'm sending an email and you're like, all right, I'm, I'm ready. I'm like, wow, I was behind schedule and you were like. <laughs> on it, I'm on it, Jackson. <laughs> What's, um? oh my gosh, intro. Welcome back to All Round Champion Interviews. I'm joined I'm here. Oh, God. Oh, I was close. I was so you close. I was so this. close. Welcome back to All Round Champion Interviews. I'm here with Momo Sutton. Hello. Great to be here. And we are going to be asking her questions about her episode. Episode for swimming. Yes. Oh, yes. I think that was a little bit better this week. That was, that was a little bit better. Oh, yeah. So how's it being on the show? Just basic questions. Oh yeah, it was very cool. It was a very good learning experience, both in life and reality TV shows. And I got to meet all of you guys. Oh, how are you liking the show so far? I feel like it's very different because when you've lived through it, you know things. And then when you see yourself on TV and everyone else, it, do it feels surreal also because mm -hmm. There's a lot of moments that they don't include in the show. I know some of the other other members have talked about this, but it's like they didn't include like 90% of what we did 12 hours a day. Yeah, literally, we had so much filming time and so much waiting time as well. And yeah, and this week, didn't they also just cut out our time trials? We had this whole segment. It was just gone. I was like, wait a minute. Are we sure we didn't skip this? Because it, it had nothing like... Yeah, I think so. Originally, the plan was to have the practices and then have a time trial to to determine the heats and the lanes for right. the competition, which I believe the competition was actually going to be inside and just mm -hmm. to do laps. But if I am if I heard right or if I'm not mistaken, Mackenzie was the one that actually decided to do outside, right? Yes, she was. She's like, take him outdoors. Extra challenge. Yeah, no, it completely caught us off guard. We we had no idea what it could have been. The bus pulling up and everyone's just freaking out. <laughs> yeah, we're like, wait, where are we? This isn't the pool? What the heck? And uh, did it take some time to get there too? I think so. Was it, um, it couldn't have been more than an hour. Because, mm -hmm. um, go. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you can't. I'm sorry, yeah. Like, continue oh what did you think <laughs> what did you think of having the competition outside um that was definitely an extra challenge I still have a few uh, issues with the whole setup especially because when Maggie showed me the the buoys how they're actually supposed to be sized because poor Lily started swimming in like the literal opposite direction. I feel like if they had bigger sized buoys and that weren't the color of the water, it might have affected the turnout. Oh my gosh, I just noticed you're wearing your, your tie-dye shirt. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look, you're so prepared. You're like, you're the only one that's also worn all round champion. Plus the day that they're like <laughs> representing. Oh my gosh. I I would have brought um. I would have worn my t-shirt, my tie-dye t-shirt well as well, but um oh, come on. <laughs> they uh they ripped it and they ripped it off me. Oh. So I don't have that shirt anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. I was I so proud of it. I was 
so proud of it too. And then you can see them on the screen just I'm like gone. Oh. Yeah. Um, but no, I think this was a really fun week because a lot just happened. Like we tie-dyed before it all started and we had no idea that it was actually gonna be a part of the show. Because oh, we yeah. just wanted we were talking about tie-dyeing for for a long time. Mm -hmm. And they were like, bring it. <laughs> The day that we wore the tie dyes was the basics, and what did you think of the blob? I thought the blob was fun for the first like five times. Yeah, <laughs> no, I I, I agree. Pain. pain, and then what happened to you? <laughs> you knew that was gonna come up. You knew. Uh... Yeah. well I mean okay so I don't know what it is but I just I just don't like that like just I don't like water stuff like that like trampolines on the water and I, I just yeah. feel like because like I just don't have that extra leg for support and balance it just right. it's like it like freaks me out if I like land incorrectly or something like that and I literally the jump before the whole incident I was like I'm not gonna do this anymore I don't want to do this anymore yeah. Like, I'm, I'm just going to sit out and stop. And then... It was an omen. It was a sign. And then, like, Bradley was like, oh, you you and Gnor should do it. I'm like, all right, last one, last the, one. The second sign, Bradley told you. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> like, cameras are on, you know? I don't want to, like, not right. do it, you know? Yeah. Um. So I I interlocked arms with Gnor, and we just didn't let go. We, like, kept them on. And oh my gosh, I like fell right on my shoulder and like, I like, I oh. could not move it. I couldn't move my arm at all. Like it was just frozen and I was in shock and I'm like, holy cow. It was like the same feeling that I felt when I first injured my arm, just that pop mm -hmm. and just, I can't feel it at all. Like I could tell like it, nothing was broken, all that kind of stuff. It was just a lot of shock that hit me. Fortunately, it like it healed pretty well and like nothing bad happened. It was just like that first day and then like a little like like pain going up but that was just normal and uh, <laughs> yeah it was, oh no it's normal to like <laughs> feel that no 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 like it was it, it was fine it was fine i was able here, to go get medical help <laughs> yeah i was able to uh tolerate it but no it was funny because they like i'm just like there i'm like i can't believe this is i i, I honestly i felt humiliated like it felt it was really humiliating for me Cause like I'm just like oh my god I can't believe I just hurt myself on TV and they're gonna show it I'm like I'm just like, god <laughs> then they're like the sound effects that they added and I'm just like on the little like safety rafting oh, yeah. I remember and I know it's funny because it's like literally I went to the hospital and they're like oh Jackson's going to the hospital I drive off and the next scene is just more people jumping on the blob. <laughs> Like that wasn't your first sign. <laughs> yeah. And then Sam with her um perforated ear drum. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. She she had problems too uh, about her ear. Like there was like a hole oh, in yeah. her ear or something like that. And so she had oh, like yeah. plug it up. And it just just a lot of stuff happened. I remember, I don't remember if that it was that week specifically, but it was me, Sam, and Gunnar, we all got in a car. Um to go get help <laughs> and mm -hmm. medical aid again. And it was like, we were all just wearing masks and like, ooh, selfie. Look at all I the think sick it, people. I think it was that week because we also got massages that week. It oh. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, no, that was, that was fun. But for those back home, I'm perfectly fine. Still playing wheelchair basketball, all that kind of stuff. It just hurt first couple of days, but we're good. Let's move on back to you now. What did you think of Mackenzie? Oh, I love Mackenzie. Oh, I thought she was an amazing coach. And I got to see her again after All Round Champion. And I'll see her again in a next para meet. <clears throat> I see you, Kenzie. <laughs> now, I think, especially when she was working with Brad, you could really see her inner teacher coming out. And she was so patient. That, <laughs> just like, I want to be like her. Mm -hmm. I remember a scene when he was swimming and he's like, ah, like doggy paddling. Yeah. 
Mika's is like, bro, just just calm, please, just calm. And then you can see how much that it like improved his form and mm-hmm. how he swam. It it looked yeah. so good. Yeah, no, it's and it's just cool that you get to see her again and that you you're you're kind of competing in the same area with her. That's oh yes. Um, all right, so I guess we already talked about this. Um stealing your thunder. Hey, no, 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 no. Like we like we like hit two two birds with a stone. That's how it goes. Two birds with one stone. <laughs> what did you think of the uh the at the end, like right before the competition? What did you think of the party bus when we got on and like there's lights <laughs> and we started dancing? I love that. I think it was such a nice a nice way to go into the next competition day the next scene as well because it's just us parting and i remember in that moment it was a little awkward because we had to do it without music because they couldn't have copyright or anything like that and we we're like oh, oh yeah <laughs> oh and then getting crowd surf that was amazing i'd never been crowd surfed before <laughs> yeah okay because you're like, you were just like so light and small <laughs> so we could just crowd surf you <laughs> but i'm glad they did that because that was like really late because we also had the time trials that day so that took up most of the time so it was really late when we got on the bus and then just lights everywhere oh oh, we're still doing this (laughs) uh but we didn't have to do the uh do the uh bus uh bus stuff yeah reality we didn't have to do reality so that was good was it uh i don't remember if everyone just conked out or what just like I think we all passed it. We passed because swimming as low impact as it is, it's very tiring. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I know. Were you surprised by the podium? Yes and no, because I had seen. I knew that Maggie was going to be somewhere on the podium, especially with her background. Because was she on? Wasn't she on the national team? Set to go to was yeah. it Tokyo? Uh, I don't. Uh, was, maybe, was but I knew she was on the national team. Right. Yeah. And her form, it was beautiful, and she had done open swim before, so it was looking pretty good for her. I did think that Dom would have had a chance there too, just because of like pure muscle, man. You're like ripping through the water, whether there's. 100% technique or not that's a lot of force I'm really happy G got up there uh, I think and you I guess you <laughs> no nope, I don't think I was too surprised I really liked how they portrayed Gnor in this episode it was really nice that we kind of saw a story from her throughout yeah. the whole episode with just how it's hard for her to see in the water and that it is mm-hmm. deteriorating and she's able to talk to her family and she gets podium, which is just amazing that she just <sighs> was her own person out there on the open water swimming and just not having to like look back or look forward or just anything, just swim the best that she can and that she got it. And she got it. Oh, she deserved that so much, yeah. especially well, with all the accommodation stuff, because that's always the killer every week, I should say. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I really liked this episode a lot. I, 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 I liked the competition for the most part. It was open water, and it was funny because like it was pretty windy. And it was a really big lake, and so it was just hard for us to uh, adjust to that. But that, that's the that's the name of the game. That's all round champion season five. You know, we have to adapt, adjust, and accommodate for what is to come. Oh, yeah. Can I say it better? And guess what? You can watch All Round Champion Season 5 for free on BYU TV with no ads. Streams every Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and on TVO Kids, same time in Canada. Mic drop. Bravo. <laughs> uh, you know, just got to add that in there. Um, so, a question that I just thought about last week was how did your application process go? Okay, so originally they found me off of Instagram, like a lot of you, just DM, and I thought nothing of it because number one thing you don't do is open up random DMs from people you don't 
no, especially when they claim to be asking you to audition for a show. Like, I really didn't think twice about that. Yeah, so and I like I looked at this person. You know, their account is private. <laughs> the followers. And like, it's like, they're from Canada and you're like, wait, what is this? <laughs> oh, scam, scam. But when I got home, my mom said, it's a real thing. And they'd also found me through my prosthetist down in Tampa too. So it was like kind of a two-way thing. So we did the application process. We did all the videos, the photos, why you want to be on it and the whole Make sure you're mentally okay. Get the psychological check. So when did you apply? I applied like late May, I want to say, because we, we got to there June 23rd. So it must have been like late May, early June. <laughs> wow, which is May. insane because we left in like late June. So when did you find out that you got on the show? It, it was like maybe around... June still early June because we heard back from them a lot sooner than I thought we would so like would you say a week yeah that's a lot less time than uh than me oh really how 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 long mm. I don't know I think uh give or take three or four months <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm done. More on that on my week. I don't want to spoil things yet, but <laughs> it was it, it was a it was a doozy. Um, <laughs> Are you gonna interview yourself? For the I I don't know what I'm gonna do yet with the uh, with with my episode, but who knows? Who knows? Got to watching. <laughs> you gotta you gotta stick tuned with Jackson that one on YouTube, you know. And if you want to watch more, you could subscribe oh yeah uh, oh. anyway so i think that's kind of all the questions that i had i didn't have a lot sorry about that sure. but if <clears throat> if you have anything that you want to say to the people back home with my week specifically i feel like that really evened out the playing field like of all the sports we've done so far that was the most even level one I think in my humble opinion specifically because not a lot of people had that much swimming experience besides Maggie it really challenged everyone to get that new mindset to learn something new and especially because if you want to be fast in swimming a lot of that comes from technique so everyone had to learn equal techniques to be fast I 100% agree with that it could have been anyone's game you know that's what everyone was saying this week and I Loved podium. That was my favorite podium. <laughs> the underdog. <laughs> and you. <laughs> I really don't want to end it now. We're on a roll. I know we're on a roll. I can't I can't think of anything else. What is it? What is what else should I say? What else? What else? Oh, oh okay, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> So this was also the week that back home we built a fort. <laughs> What did you think of that? For the for like eighty percent of that, I was in my room with Ganor Chili. I think we were watching like Drag Race or something like that in bed, being lazy people who can't be members of society. Oh. And we walk out. I was it. Who came and grabbed us? Because I remember I wouldn't have gone out my room otherwise. And there was this fort because I remember you guys had said something about it, but we were like. Miss Frida agreed to be like, maybe give them two hours <laughs> and they'd all give up. But no, you guys pulled through and lo and behold, there was a decent looking fort with, was it like, where did you even get that wood? Oh, the wood was just down the, down the gravel. <laughs> yeah. And then we just grabbed oh, it God. and just moved it. And then like, we had so much to do like we put the lot we put the logs up in the tree actually that was all Brandon and Dom I didn't find out until <laughs> later that day because I I uh slept in a lot um oh really <laughs> you coming down for lunch or coming up for lunch <laughs> uh. 
um but no it was really fun because the fort was something that brought all of us together like we all had our own involvement with the fort i put flowers on it yeah hey that's something that's something yeah <laughs> and then we got we found the toilet then we got the toilet <laughs> you you specifically cleaned that out am i right no one else was doing it i'm like you know how hard these would be like with the pictures and like just having it here let's go totally. i want to sit down on this so I cleaned it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. We got we got a guest. Hello. Hi. Hi. This is my nephew. This is Landon. Hello. Hi, Landon. They're all coming. Oh, they're all coming. <laughs> Bring him in. <laughs> oh, he doesn't want to be. Oh. You want you want me on YouTube? <laughs> okay. Bye. What sport does he do? I forgot. I play wheelchair basketball. Oh, yeah. You play a little bit of basketball, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How is seeing your your aunt? Yeah, on TV. Yeah. Yeah. Did you yeah. did you like? It? Yeah. Did you did you yeah. think your aunt was cool? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Is there anything else that we can talk about? You remember that killer TikTok that we made with the fort and the toilet? Yeah, Brayden really wanted it. to make a TikTok. And so we all kind of just used the the toilet and the, the fort in the TikTok. And it was like, I don't rem remember what trend it was, but uh, <laughs> it's on his TikTok right now. You can watch it. It's really funny. And it's on Maggie's Instagram. Where's the oh, yeah. other people? Oh, they're not on here. Okay, wait. Give me one second. Okay, you're good. Come on, do it. Let's go. Where's the other people? Um, it's just me because I I'm like doing this thing where I'm interviewing everybody else because like I, I make YouTube videos, so I just wanted to like interview everybody and just as like behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So now you're I mean you're in the YouTube video now. Yay! Is that cool? Yay! You're internet famous. Okay, you, internet. Famous you should boy. you should go and subscribe to me. <laughs> Oh, wait, let me finish up. Are you guys going to the pool? Can you join us? <laughs> uh, crazies. Have fun. I've got to go. Daddy, work with me. Life is back to normal. Um, I don't have anything else, and then I'm assuming you don't have anything else? Um, no. Ew. No. My week also had not that much drama. I know, right? The biggest thing was, I guess, just like my arm thing. Right. And then, because Maggie couldn't do the blob either. Mm hmm Because of her hips. And you're literally jumping down from a platform. Like, what oh. was that, like 10 feet up? Yeah, I was like 10 feet up. And then, like, yeah. what, like, scared me the most, though, was, like, there was rocks right next to the blob. Oh, yeah. But I'm so glad that they have medical staff. So... Whew, thank goodness for that. Shout out for the lifeguard. Shout out for the lifeguard for carrying me. Woo! No, I think just swimming is just a really fun sport that it doesn't even have to be a sport. I mean, you can do it recreationally. And I think just a lot of people are just so used to swimming. And I think just going into this week, everybody was just really excited to swim. So uh, thank you so much for swimming and uh, letting us do all that and coaching us. How was coaching? coaching i'd never really actually coached anyone else before except the littles on our team so thank y'all for being such a great cast and bearing with me especially when we worked you and i worked on <laughs> oh my gosh they didn't show it that much but so i use i could i knew how to do flip turns but i didn't do it accurately and right. efficiently and or correct so <laughs> I just remember we were there for like oh like five minutes and you're just like Jackson activate your abs and I'm like <sighs> show me it again. <laughs> I loved that how we worked on that for again like five minutes straight, and then day of competition it doesn't even matter. <laughs> but that was fun. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course. And thank you for teaching me. Sure you do that every time. Yeah, no, I keep that in mind now every single time. And and how you taught me how to kind of attack the water oh yeah so oh, i remember, I remember. Ah. uh but no you're a really great coach uh really appreciate you and 
just your overall personality because you are like such a joyful optimistic person very great uh just seeing you like on screen and just having a smile and like a good good personality and just you know enjoying the moment so thank you um thank you very much for letting me interview you momo go check out his instagram Uh, no you check out check out momo's instagram yes yeah Yeah, check it out momo sutton momo sutton yeah yeah and there's some pretty cool pictures of momo that some pretty cool person took of so oh yeah you know definitely check that out it's a really good photographer (laughs) must have been (laughs) (sighs) all right well i'll uh i'll catch you later see you on the flip side see you on the see you on the flip side all right See you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>